Thanks for joining us at Right On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Garbage Truck by Tom Daniel. It's a Revell kit number 85-4198. Now, most garbage trucks are dirty and full of garbage, but not this one. It's no less than a surfboard toting hot rod that doubles as a beach party bandstand. Now, the kit is a skill level 2 for the intermediate builder contains 57 parts. It's molded in white and chrome and has vinyl tires. Uh, the kit's seen a few box art designs over the years and a number of reissues. The original was released in 1968 in the middle of the mod era. Can you dig it? Now the copyright stamp says 68 and the decals read 2014. So this recent re-release has been based on the original molds, but it's got updated decals. Now the buildup on the kit is a 100% exterior looks. There's no motor or detailed undercarriage, and the suspension is very basic. The cab's a multi-part unit, and everything mounts to it aside from the seats. Now the trash body is a multi-piece unit, and aside from the surfboards and accessories that are molded in place, that's all you get. The mini band members are pretty cool. And you get a go-go girl and two guy figures. Now the decals are Revell quality and they replicate the originals that came in the kit. The overall finished dimensions are 7 inches long, about 3 inches wide, and almost 5 inches high. Here are the contents of this kit. And as you can see, uh, they're individually poly bagged for the chrome and the tires to keep them from touching. So even though this is a vintage kit, you can probably be assured that the parts are still in good shape. The decals are nice and colorful and the register is good, but you might want to use some decal setting solution for some of the larger ones. And with that in mind, please use the manufacturer's safety and use guidelines uh, for your own protection when you use any of the products that you see or hear mentioned in the review. So, go ahead and grab these parts uh, so that we can assemble the wheels. And for a more realistic look, I like to take and uh, spin the wheels on a flat surface with some light sandpaper to give the tread a roughed up look. And when you paint them, uh, the wheel backs are flat black uh, with a silver outer ring and some gold brakes. Now, assemble the inside of the tire uh, because it has an offset on the inner mount ring. And assemble the front rim to the deeper side and the back rim to the thinner side of the offset. So go ahead and grab these pieces out of the kit. There's suspension pieces there and uh, uh, the other set of tires for the front end. And now we're going to paint the front axle and the tie rod black and uh, paint the molded in motor with a silver transmission and the oil pan in the motor red uh, or orange, whatever color you like really. Uh, paint the rear chassis pan silver and the front chassis pan flat black. And then paint the frame rails silver too. Now note if you're painting this for a contest model, uh, the bottom has the molded in uh, script for the copyright and that'll have to be filled in and sanded smooth. And there are also a considerable number of ejector pin marks which uh, back in the day they put them on the wrong side of the chassis pan. So you'd have to uh, scrape those off, fill them in and sand that smooth as well. And here is a uh, photo of the finished front end assembly. So to uh, put that together, attach the ladder bars to the axle and then uh, remember to scrape off any chrome or paint for attachment points to make sure you get a good bond on any of the parts you put together. So once you get the ladder bars on the axle, attach the tie rod to the axle and then attach that unit to the frame using the pins on the axle to line up in the holes in the frame. Now attach the tires uh, to the axle. Now these are fragile so put your finger on the back side and press them until they snap in. So get these pieces out of the kit for the rear tires and um, for a more realistic look once again use some fine sandpaper like a 220 grit on a flat surface and press and roll the tire tread area on the uh, sandpaper to give it a nice worn look. Now paint the wheel backs flat black with a silver outer ring and gold brakes and then the inside of the tire again has a ring around the tire middle sidewall so assemble the front rim to the flat sidewall side and the back rim to the ringed sidewall side. 
get the parts together for the rear suspension now as you see here and um, this is an assembled rear end picture as coming up here and you're going to paint the axle and the drive shaft black then for assembly attach the ladder bars to the frame in the holes provided and then attach the axle to the ladder bars now install the drive shaft to the axle and the transmission and attach the tire assemblies to the axle now once again they're kind of they're a little more sturdy but use some pressure on the backside to keep it uh, stable and then push the uh, tires on to the uh, stubs there now give the uh, trash can gas tanks uh, glue those together and attach them to the pins on the frame now here's a word of caution on those gas tanks um, there's a severe parting line that runs right through the middle it splits in half and the attachment pin location uh, also now to properly finish this kit uh, for a contest you would uh, assemble the tanks strip the chrome and then of course fill and smooth the parting lines and then re-chrome the parts uh, with either some alclad uh, to paint or you'd send them out for chroming okay so the underbody of your kit is uh, starting to come together nicely now and so here's a shot of the completed chassis from the underside and then uh, turn that book back over onto the wheels and with a really awesome looking rake now you have a rolling chassis on which to build the rest of your model take a look in the kit and pull out these parts uh, and these are going to be used to build the uh, the truck cab now there are some blemishes and on the rear cab exterior wall the part number for the part is on the part itself so you're gonna to have to scrape that off and sand it smooth this uh, shot shows the assembled cab and uh, I recommend that you put the cab together uh, prior to painting because w once you you uh, paint the model with all the pieces in place then you have less chance of damaging it uh, damaging the paint later on um, it also makes for a better overall uh, paint job so that you eliminate the variation of spraying at different times so go ahead and assemble these pieces together and then we'll start working on the bodywork you'll find that when you assemble the um, the cab and the front end together it leaves a parting line on both sides and the finished build will show the cab as one piece unit uh, and so this parting line should be filled in and smooth and sanded off with uh, sanding sticks uh, in order to get a nice smooth rounded finish there prior to painting now gather up uh, all the parts that are going to be uh, body color uh, including the assembled cab here and then um, wet sand the parts out with a fine grit sandpaper about a thousand grit and then let them uh, dry fully and prime all the parts in inside and out and after the uh, primer has dried water sand it again rinse the parts and let it air dry and then paint the parts your choice of body color decal the unit uh, however you like um, using uh, some of the uh, setting solutions for the larger ones if you use them and then clear coat the body um, you can use any color you want um, it's a garbage truck that was uh, made from pure fiction so uh, whatever you like uh, is great just uh, make sure you get a nice even coat start out with a mist coat or two and then uh, heavier wet coats until you get the finish that you desire since this is a, a customized truck I use some custom paint I gave it a, a silver base and after that dried I sprayed it with uh, a coat of orange pearl uh, inside and out to give it a good nice even coat of paint and here is the completed cab assembly now I painted the grill flat black and then uh, I painted the breather vents on the supercharger uh, red and on the finished body I painted the motor blower silver with a flat black belt and then paint the mirror faces silver and inside the cab paint the pedals black now attach the breather face to the breather body and attach that to the top of the blower and attach the side pipes to the notches in the body now attach the horn to the roof slot there and the grill to and the bumper to the front of the cab go ahead and get the interior pieces out of the kit now and paint the seats flat black and the steering column flat black and then the shift knob is a gloss black 
paint the steering wheel rim brown and then attach the seats to the chassis pan and attach the steering wheel to the column and attach that to the hole in the chassis pan. Now install the shifter into the hole in the center of the console and note there's no dash decals for this kit. So if you want to place some up there you'll need to go to your parts box or find some on the internet that you can print out with a color printer. Do some test fitting then attach uh, and glue the interior into the cab uh, at the glue points. Make sure you remove any paint and then again uh, test fit where it's going to land and add the cab to the chassis. So find the parts here for the um, uh, the trash box, the compactor, and assemble those for um, uh, the next step. There is an origin sticker on the uh, inside uh, of one of the panels here, so you'll need to uh, remove that. Um, it'll come right off. Now, to, uh, to ease the assembly and to lower the chance of damage later, I partially assembled the trash box. Uh, so I put the sides and the back panel together with the top panel, and now you can prime this paint and paint it as a unit. And the rear door and the floor can be painted as separate units and assembled during uh, the final assembly of the trash box here. So just like the, um, the main cab there, uh, prepare the body parts for the trash box and all the parts that are going to be uh, body color for that. And then water sand the parts again with some fine sandpaper and let them dry, uh, air dry. And then prime all the parts inside and out. And after the primer dries, uh, again, a nice uh, coat or uh, coverage with some fine grit sandpaper. Uh, so wet sand that, rinse, and let it dry. And then after it's done, uh, you're going to paint the parts the, the color of choice uh, for the trash box. And uh, you can see from my finish uh, uh, pictures here that I used uh, Wimbledon White for that. Now you can apply the decals uh, that you want to use for your kit. And uh, I used most of them. I like the great big uh, eye decals there. So um, once again, you may want to use some setting solution. But for the most part, these go on very easily and nicely. Uh, they're not really over too many um, uh, rugged contours. Uh, but just, just uh, in case you want to have some of that setting solution handy. So go ahead, add all your decals. And then uh, once those have dried overnight, you can clear coat them on to seal them in place. You should also note that uh, there's an instruction error here. Uh, the rail inside the trash box side panels are indicated showing the floor being installed flat in the chassis at the base of the trash box front area. Uh, but actually, the floor should actually sit in the rail. And see it more clearly here when assembled and installed on the chassis uh, as seen in the floor it'll, you'll actually be able to move front to back so that you can mount the band uh, members and still close the rear door by sliding the door forward uh, in the slot there uh, that the floor is in. N nowhere in the instructions is it really explained but the floor slides back and then back in to close the door. So you can see the uh, the trash box here installed and um, you first assemble the tanks for the front of the box and paint those black with uh, silver mounts and valves and then install into the hole uh, in the uh, front panel those tanks and then paint the flippers the color of your choice. I used uh, a medium yellow back there on the back end and paint the helmets the color of your choice. Those are I used black, red, blue, uh, but it's up to you. And and as you can see, uh, she's installed here. Test fit that box before you put it into place. And then use some uh, good strong glue or some epoxy glue uh, to glue that into position. So you're going to uh, assemble the uh, trash box onto the chassis with the floor sandwiched in the rails so that it might slides back and forth. And then shown here are the notches that the rear door sits in. Uh, and it's not glued here. You, you don't glue these in place. And once the box is assembled and glued in place, the door will sit in the notches so that you can open or close the door easily here. So here is a better uh, 
photo of the front of the truck uh, with the um, tanks on the front side of the uh, trash box that I was talking about earlier. Um, and it really looks like a mean machine. It's kind of a chopped version of a, a regular uh, truck, heavy-duty truck. So she's uh, looking good at this point. And this is what the back end of the truck looks like with the door closed and the colorful decals uh, in place. And also um, there's a, a picture of the, the back end with the door open. Uh, as you can see, the door swings open easily and, uh, and it stays right in place because of the notches that it fits into. We can get to some of the uh, fun stuff. And uh, so grab the, uh, the surfboards and the decals and uh, those pieces are installed on the box on the side there and although the box art uh, photo shows these as finished double-sided uh, boards um, the actual parts are single-sided there's there's only decals and stripes for one side so uh, they're um, just for the front side uh, and so you will put those together you paint your board uh, the color that you like and to have a dual-sided board uh, you'd have to paint your boards uh, by hand on the back side taping those off to match the stripes um, so it's it's up to you um, now based on the research I did most surfboards only had one side and the other side was just solid color uh, on the bottom so I chose this as a reference and I did a single side design with a solid bottom and you can see here completed and assembled surfboard group I just painted the boards the color uh, of my choice. You can I used blue and red. You can use whatever you like. Then decal and then clear coat the boards and install them onto the roof mount and glue them in place on the sides. And here's a um, a photo of the figures, the uh, the hip and groovy band uh, with the uh, identical twin uh, guitarist and uh, their lead singer there, and. So I used some color. I just used some craft paints to detail these uh, to give them a better look and a little less gloss. And you can see them here in the back of the truck after uh, I painted them. You use any paint you want uh, and finish off these figures uh, for your band in the back. Now, uh, once you get them done, go ahead and glue them into position. Uh, there's some pegs there for their feet posts and... Uh, use some strong glue here to keep them in place. Well, there you have it. This kit is a simple build, but once you're done with it, it's really a head turner. It'll make a great display on your shelf, and you might think that it's too simple to build and too corny, but you know what? When you get going on this thing, it's just pure fun. Tom Daniel always knew how to make things cool, and this kit's no exception. Pretty much the parts went together pretty well. They fit pretty well. Uh, one thing though, uh, the instruction sheet will give beginners a little stress. Uh, but if you test fit and pay attention, it's pretty easily fixed. Um, any of the issues that you find. Once again, it's kind of simple kit. But when it's done, it just looks great. As we used to say, groovy. So if I were you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. We hope that you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can find us on Facebook and also at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.